size of that spider. It's one of our native orbs that live up here. I'm just taking advantage of being up high at the moment. I can see lots of archer fish. There's one big one just swimming down there. A couple more over there. A few more archer fish over there. What we have here is the remnants of a green ant's nest. Yeah, once the leaves get to that stage, they abandon their nest and make a new one. See, that, see that sooty grain of it. Oh, sorry, the Saratoga was just down here. Be nice if we can get a close up of it. Yeah, there it is, right against the edge there. Moving along, swimming away from it at the moment. Here comes an archer fish. Sometimes I enjoy watching fish more than catching them, believe it or not. Splash. friendly snags here, bobbed up and down. Oh. Yeah, I thought it changed me a little way away from the water there, well away from it. Anyway, that's why I like to use my setup. One of those clips you can just clip on and clip off. Both that pros and cons pros are with this easy to get on easy to get off that's the lures that is disadvantage is you got quite a, a long stem there sometimes it can spook the fish a bit look at all the bugs I just disturbed when I was walking through I was too busy watching putting my feet I didn't see these things flying around they smell like stink bugs Step the leaf here. Look at them all. God, they stink. There's sooty grunt down there. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I got that on camera. I think it was a herring, that one.
Oh, that's a hit. I think it might be the Saratoga. I'd love to use my floor on here, but I've got no casting room. Just down there is a crocodile. A little freshy, just down there. He can see me, and I can see him. Hello, tall. Well, that's the end of my fish trip for today. A few strikes here and there, some long walks, seen a few crocodiles here and there. But besides that, I've got nothing at all. Just as I mentioned before, it's just some strikes. But anyway, that's me done for today. Until next time, catch us later.